Austin stands on top of the world of darts. We're here at Riley Sports Bar, Haymarket, London, and I'm pleased to be joined by the PDC chairman, Barry Hearn. Barry, I hear you've got some exciting news about the prize money and this year's tournament. Well, obviously, today we're announcing William Hill were our new title sponsors of the World Darts Championships, and clearly it's an event that's getting bigger and bigger, so obviously we like to see prize money increase. So we're adding an extra £200,000 to the prize money, take it to one and a quarter million. Not changing the first prize, but changing the prizes all the way down from the runner-up downwards. It's another step towards consolidating what is an amazing global phenomenon called the World Darts Championships. And it's good news for players and fans, and it's good news for Sky Television, and it's the best news for William Hill, our sponsors. We saw record ticket sales at last year's World Championships. Over 100,000 people could walk through the door for the Premier League. Tickets go on general no. sale Monday the 23rd of June. How do you think the tickets were sold this year? Well, I know how big it is because I suddenly have friends all around the country phoning me up saying, can I have some tickets? So the message is get in early because these, are fly, these fly out every year. You know, we sold over 50,000 tickets for the World Championships last year. We sold every session out. Uh, this is the last year probably where it's going to be in the small hall, which holds just less than 3,000. You know, I didn't want to take a chance of moving it to the big hall where six or 7,000 people can get in until I was sure that we didn't lose the atmosphere. I may have got it slightly wrong. I, may, I perhaps should have moved it this year. So the message quite clearly to fans is, sorry if I disappoint you, I won't next year. And those of you lucky enough to get a ticket, Enjoy. Okay. William Hill, the sponsors, chalk Michael Van Gogh up at the six to four favourite. Yeah, yeah. Phil Taylor, five to two. Do you think it's a two fit, two horse race? Oh, I, I definitely don't, uh, especially in the earlier rounds. I think you're going to see some shocks. The standard is enormous because there's 102 darts events this year. Now, you know, these players are playing week in, week out and honing their talent. It's going to be won by a player that gets himself in the right mood, building up to the World Championships. Early results won't mean so much. The fact that Raymond Barnveld has won the Premier League, the fact that Michael Van Gerwen is defending champion, gives them the stature and the perception. But the actual player is the player that hits form, to my mind, in October and November because he takes momentum with him. So I think we should just hold fire on the six to four and the five to two for Taylor, because it may look a bit skinny. I like value when I bet. I like to see someone coming up that can shock the world. And we are giving opportunity to a load of young players. So you've got people like Michael Smith out there. You've got Stephen Bunting who's moved over from the BDO. You've got people like Dean Wynn Stanley. There's a lot of people off the radar that may give you some value when it gets closer to the date. So hold those bets and look for value. That's great. Thank you very much, Barry. Great pleasure. Michael Van Gerwen stands on top of the 